Are you looking for ways to increase your vertical jump? You wanna learn about the physiology behind the ver vertical jump and how you can trick your body into jumping a little bit higher. If you're interested in increasing that vertical jump, add in a couple inches, stay tuned to the rest of this video. What's up everybody, I'm Dane Miller from Garage Strength and I'm gonna cover a couple key facets behind the physiology of the vertical jump and how we can trick your body into jumping a little bit higher and how we can use defense mechanisms in favor of increasing our vertical jump. So when we learn about the vertical jump and when we understand what that vertical jump is, right, we have to understand a couple key concepts. And if we start off, we have to understand what is the stretch shortening cycle. So the stretch shortening cycle is when a, a muscle is lengthened and then rapidly shortens. Okay. So when we go into a counter movement jump in our vertical jump, when we go into that counter movement, we are creating a lengthening of our quads of our hamstrings by achieving dorsiflexion in the ankle and our knee flexion in the knee and our hips coming back we are starting to lengthen the quads and the hamstrings which in turn then shortens rapidly and then we can jump higher so one of the key concepts behind understanding the stretch shortening cycle is understanding that as we are doing a counter movement that we have to pull ourselves down slightly into the into about a quarter squat and then rapidly come out of that position so if we can understand what ends up happening in that rapid movement is now we can take a step into something that is known as a co-contraction okay so what ends up happening is a co-contraction is when our when something is happening extremely fast so the faster our body is moving, the fast, the more noise there might be and the more information that is being sent to the central nervous system, to your spinal cord, and then the more disruption that potentially could happen based off of what the muscle spindles and, and even the Golgi tendon organ are communicating towards that spinal cord. So our, our defense mechanism is to, when we lengthen, is to reflex and, and shorten rapidly. And this is a way to override what's going on with the muscle spindles and, and the communication that they're that they are telling the spinal cord to do. So we are going to protect these muscles from tearing. OK, and part of that override of what the muscle spindles are doing is utilizing the co-contraction. And so if we are taking that fast counter movement where we drop into a vertical jump about four to six inches four to eight inches, somewhere in that realm, depending on where your strength is, if you're in, if you're stronger with your quads, stronger with your hamstrings. Now we start to utilize a co-contraction. And so what does this have to do with increasing our vertical jump? We need to understand, and if we can reference back to our, our plyometrics video, the introduction to plyometrics, we can understand that there's three phases of the plyometric, of a jump, of a stretch shortening cycle. There is going to be the eccentric portion, which is when the muscles are lengthened. There's going to be the amortization or the coupling phase. And then there's going to be the concentric movement out of the plyometrics. And so if we know how the plyometric works, which is we know now, right? And if we can understand there's a slight preflex and when that slight preflex, either taking a step or we're running and we start to load and we start to pull ourselves down, now as we get to the bottom of, of our eccentric movement and we enter into the amortization of the coupling phase, we have to see and recognize that one of the defense mechanisms to protect and make that joint more stable is a co-contraction. So the co-contraction will make the knee more stable it will make it very very stiff it will make the ankle very stiff it'll protect that ankle and it'll protect that knee so now that stiffness can then transfer into we'll have more kinetic energy stored and we can transfer that into a rapid concentric movement so where this comes into play with toe contraction is that now we have to understand that strength gains have to be factored into 
gaining stiffness through co-contraction. So co-contraction, again, if we can think about when we're taking this step into the, the counter movement in a vertical jump, our quad will ignite and our hamstrings will ignite to protect that knee, to make the knee more stable. Okay, so we are, we are our nervous system will fire the quads and the hamstrings. So agonist and antagonist muscle groups. And this is where it comes, it becomes very, very important to understand that when we achieve co-contraction and if we have enough strength that we can handle getting out of that rapidly, now we are going to have a better vertical jump. So the faster that happens, the faster our, our eccentric portion of our lift or of our counter movement is, the stronger our contraction is, so the stronger our reflex is, the faster we get out of the amortization or coupling phase, the higher we are going to jump. So we utilize this information all throughout the vertical jump manifesto because we had to recognize we've got to make strength gains to increase our tendon strength, to increase our tendon stiffness. The stiffer our tendons are, the more force they can absorb and the more force we can use. So by understanding how this physiology works, how, how the mechanics work behind the stretch shortening cycle, how the stretch shortening cycle communicates and creates this co-contraction between the quads and the hamstrings, we develop a whole manifesto around increasing strength gains and increasing our vertical jump together because ultimately the more the, the stronger our tendons are the more desensitized our golgi tendon organ becomes as we've learned in previous videos and on top of that the stronger we get through eccentric portions the faster we are going to be able to contract and get out of those positions based off of co-contractions and ultimately lead to an increase in our vertical jump so understand what the stretch shortening cycle is understand that you've got to be pulling yourself down. Understand that when you get to, into that plant position and the counter movement, that co-contraction will contribute to a massive increase in a monster concentric explosiveness. That's gonna lead to big gains, but you have to have the strength to be able to handle that amortization phase to get out of there fast enough. If you are stuck in the bottom, you are not strong enough to handle that energy and you ultimately will deflate and you're not gonna increase your vertical jump. So we use this information, we use this content, we use this knowledge and science to develop a full 12 week program in the Vertical Jump Manifesto. Utilize this so you can get up over that 40 inch vertical. If you like this information, please like, subscribe, share all over the internet, peace.